Hey everyone, let's finish this painting. This is an encaustic that I started a while ago. It's 12 by 12 inches on ampersand panel. So I begin by looking at the colors that I already have and decide that it makes sense to go warm because it's already predominantly warm. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, encaustic medium to a uh, reddish color and then heating the painting so that when I apply the paint, the uh, paint will go on nice and smooth and uh, I can get a little bit more mileage from my brush because it's been warmed up first. So adding a little bit more of my encaustic medium pellets and making that red color into more of a glaze. And then of course I'm fusing. Applying more of this lovely red glaze, knocking out a lot of the chaos right now. So I'm concealing what's below. Fusing it in again. Nice gentle sweeping movement and as I do this, the lovely thing about an ampersand panel, which is what this painting is on, is that you can get a lot of pinholes with other types of surfaces, but I find that I have the least amount of pinholes with the ampersand panel, and by fusing, you can get rid of almost all the pinholes. That's what I love about an ampersand panel. This is my little trick for speeding things up as far as cooling the panel down after you fuse. I just squirt with room temperature water, let it sit there for a bit, and as you feel the water droplets, you can feel the water droplets pulling the heat from the surface so the water droplets get warmer. Wipe the drops away when the surface has cooled. And this just allows you to go forward with scraping and you know all the other things you might want to do when you need a cooler surface, which is what I needed in order to do this kind of scraping with my ceramic tool. Notice I'm revealing some of the colors below. It was predominantly warm, but now I'm bringing back some of the cool. You have to clean off your ceramic tool pretty frequently and you can recycle that wax that comes off. You just melt it down and you filter it and you're going to get some kind of a gray. I just throw all my colors into one container. I love my ceramic tool. Other times I'll use a razor blade and make sure it's really sharp. Here's another tool. It's a, a finer tool for making lines and I can zoom in on this. So you can really see a little bit better. There's plenty of depth here to be digging into and creating these lines that can be filled in later. That's called intarsia. And now I'm just diluting uh, a cool color. This is phthalo blue and it's really been thinned out. A little bit of this color, it's an RNF color that I have here, goes a long way. So here I heat the surface again, get it warmed up, Always a great idea before you apply glaze because the glaze uh, will just go a little bit further on your brush because it is a warmed up surface instead of cooling down too fast. Especially important if you do like a smoother surface. So now I've added this and I'm fusing it in. Added some cools now. Here's a close up. Not many pinholes. And I'm leaving the area that I really liked in the warm area below. Now I'm digging back in, especially where that the blue meets the golden color. I'm kind of unifying those two areas so that they, uh, they go well together. I'm cooling it again with some water and letting it sit there, moving it around with my hand and then wiping it off with a cotton cloth. Make sure you get all the water off. Now apply more paint into those areas that I had scraped in. This is the intarsia part and let me zoom in on this. I'm using a beautiful uh, warm pink, a color by RNF, and then scraping it back before I even fuse. So the colors go into the areas that I scraped into the board and then I scrape back before I fuse so I get the nice fine line. And then I fuse. Notice I've added some more highly saturated warms into the foreground here, what I'm calling the foreground. Anytime you divide your panel into layers like this, it does begin to feel a bit like a landscape, but it doesn't have to stay that way. <laughs> Now 
Now I'm going up into the blue area and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm really using my ceramic tool to make it more smooth and level. I like a really smooth surface and, and also I'm revealing some of the colors below. I'm using some blue here to fix a little spot that had gotten scraped away and became too light. There it is up close. Now I'm using my razor blade and uh, it's time lapse so it's hard to tell what I'm using but it is a very sharp razor blade. It's one of my favorite tools as well to really get a smooth surface. It's good to be patient and to continue to get the excess wax off your blade. So now I'm revealing some of that warmth below the blue. And the final mark is again the warm pink which I loved. And it connects the top to the bottom and I fuse it in. I believe I put a little bit of wool glaze over that warm pink and there's the final. I call it spring water and again it's an encaustic 12 by 12 inches on ampersand panel. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I hope you'll try something similar. Bye now!